Razorbacks were so close. Lose to the Tigers, 31 to 34. And my leadoff question, who's in control of the West? I don't mean on paper. Like, who's in control of the West? Who is grabbing this division by the horns and saying, this belongs to me? In my mind, it's not LSU, which is really surprising to me. LSU, massive favorites by so many people to win the West, simply due to the fact, uh, to the return of Jaden Daniels. And dudes like Harold Perkins and Mason Smith on your defense. Malik Neighbors catching balls for Daniels. But you know what? I felt talent-wise really a lot better than Arkansas. And Arkansas is playing without Rocket Sanders, who we haven't seen, I believe, since the Ope Week, who's dealing with a knee injury. 31 to 34 in Baton Rouge. I mean, I just don't know that you could have convinced me of this. Vegas had this game at 17 and a half in LSU's favor. Now, they did hit the over of 55, right? Well over. KJ Jefferson goes for 21 for 31, 289, three touchdowns, two costly picks. They're obviously missing um, Rocket Sanders, Rashad Dubinion. That's my best attempt. 15 for 78. KJ Jefferson was um, leading rusher by attempts with 16 carries, 48 yards. Then you flip over to to LSU, Jaden Daniels, who had a, had a really good night. 20 for 29, 320, four scores, four tutties. Found the end zone four times, one pick. And they rushed. Logan Diggs led them, 14 for 97. And Jaden Daniels had 10 carries of his own for 36. And Malik Neighbors straight balled out. Balled out. Eight catches. A buck 30. Two scores. But then you got this other guy, right? Brian Thomas Jr. Five catches. A buck 33. Two scores himself. Who's going to get control of the West? Who's going to get control of the West? I think LSU is a good team. I don't think that they're playing to their potential, though. LSU is doing this thing where they're playing to their competition. Went nose-to-nose for a minute there with with Florida State, right? Played around with with Arkansas. Obviously handled a grambling state, as anyone should. But who is LSU? Who is the best team in the West? I know that I should be recapping this game, but my gosh – How do you not pay attention to the West at this point? Alabama's got their struggles. They got their thing. Ole Miss just took a lump on the chin to the tide, so they're now behind in schedule. This LSU-Alabama game come probably late November. Let's see if I can figure this out real quick. I do think it's going to determine the West. Excuse me, November 4th. I do think that this game is going to determine the West. I can't wait to see it because... It, it used to be uh, the game of two two heavyweights punching each other in the mouth, changing blows. Right? What's that game going to be? Right? Who can who can miss Q more? I mean, how is this thing going to unfold? Who's going to win the West? Um, Ole Miss is going to be very intriguing. They're going to travel to Ole Miss next weekend. Excuse me, LSU. Is, did I say that? I don't know what I said. LSU is going to travel to Ole Miss. I'm getting a phone call, so I'm not managing this. Traveling to Ole Miss next weekend. Uh, that's not going to be easy. Not going to be easy by any means. Um, currently, LSU is favored uh, minus two. You're going to travel to Missouri. Uh, I like you there. You're going to host Auburn. That could be sneaky. That could be sneaky. I don't think Auburn is all that bad. I really, really don't. Uh, you're going to host Army. You're going to have to prepare for that triple option. It's going to buy time in your practice. And then you're going to travel to Tuscaloosa. You're going to host Florida, host Georgia State, host A&M. You can lose to Florida. You can certainly lose to A&M. You can certainly lose to Bama. Play with. Uh, you can certainly lose to Ole Miss. Play around with your food long enough with Auburn. They might get you. Now, I'm not saying these are losses, and I'm not predicting them to be losses. That's not what I'm saying. I think LSU is favored, you know, Probably in all of these, even including the Bama game. 
But you better stop matching your competition. You better stop messing around. And I don't know what the issue is, but I just think that LSU is not playing to uh, their potential. Or matching whoever it is across them on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Nonetheless, they got it done. LSU, 34. Arkansas, 31.